This week on Not Your Average Fangirls. Me, listens to their whole discography all the time. Also me. No, I'm not a stan. <laughs> I don't know them. I don't know, I don't know them like that. We're one fangirl down this week, but luckily we have enough girl power to get us through it all. Taeyeon, the celestial goddess we all want to be, returns with I Envy You. Davida teaches us that sometimes you just have to put on your best dress and commit a crime in Bonnie and Clyde. And Susie's satellite may be too far out of orbit for us to really understand. Check it out. What is up, you guys? It's your Not Your Average Fangirls. We're back with another week of K-popness. It's your girl, Kat. And before we start the podcast, I would just like to let you know that Cynthia is not here with us today because she is off living her best life yes, at a One Is concert. Traitor. And- <laughs> <laughs> Rose before hoes. We respect that because, you know, she needs to see her baby daddy, Raven. And, like, if it was me, I'd do the same thing, too. If it was, like, Ace or, you know, one of my old groups. So we can't hate. We can't hate the player, okay? We can only hate the game. Um, (laughs) But I will start this week by saying it is another week without Junhee. And it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. We count down the days. Somebody retweeted a video of him wearing the shirt that I got him, and I sobbed for like 20 minutes, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, I forgot fine. about that. Never forget the first time Never she forget. saw him wearing it and had a meltdown. I had a fucking breakdown, and then he posted with it again, and then posted in it again, and then again, and again. And now it was a cheap shirt, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It was from Forever 21, so I know he probably... <laughs> With the amount he washed, wore it, he probably washed it a lot. You know, they shit, they, it'd be wearing out quick. So he was probably like, I can't, I can't do this no more. Even though he very clearly loved that shirt. Wow, I did so great. Anyway, that, that's my news for today. I miss June. Oh my God. Hello, everyone. It's Terika. And I was at Universal the other day with our friend Kinsey and with Carolina. And when we got back to the hotel, I just hear Carolina go, <gasps> and we're like, what? She goes, Sad was at Universal? And then oh. we realized that, like, no, they were in LA. In not Florida, but it was a nice little scare because that's happened to us before. We literally missed EXO by like five minutes to the point where, like, while we, we were did. leaving, they were coming in. So we oh, did. Damn. Never yeah, forget. we did. Santa Monica. Santa, Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? And this is why Carolina hates Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Her villain origin story. Yeah, that, that's the one. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina. Yes, I was at Universal with Terika, and we had lots of fun. And by the end of it, our feet were swollen, and we realized, damn, like, we can't do this in just one day. So they're going to come back, and we're going to do this in two days. Yay! Woo! Yay! <laughs> Nobody cares. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, but also, before we start, Kat mentioned the Cynthia, you know, Obviously, she's living her best life, but I am hearing that she's calling in right now and she has some things to say. So let's see what she has to say. To you, Cynthia, live from Minneapolis. <laughs> it sounds so nasty. From Minneapolis. <laughs> anyway, Cynthia, take it off. I'll take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Mardi Gras. Take it off. For Raven. Kitty's out for one of us. Hey, y'all. It's Cynthia. I don't know why I said y'all. I just wanted to call in and talk about the whole Tay situation. He, (laughs) on my birthday, (laughs) dead ass, on my birthday, I wake up and I open my eyes and my boyfriend's like, happy birthday. I'm like, thank you. And then I roll over and I grab my phone and the first message I see, Terika, Tay has COVID. Happy birthday, Sin. LOL. Anyway, he's fine. (laughs) Also, I would like to say, um, I know she listens to this, but I don't know if anyone else knows. Our friend Lily, amazing journalist, she got to meet Shinwan from uh, Pentagon today in her fan call, and it was so cute. Oh, yeah. I loved it so much. Anyway. I need to ask her about it because I saw that she posted. and I haven't seen it. Like She posted on her Instagram story. Oh, I haven't been on Instagram. Yeah, so she was like... You're an inspiration. I love you so much. You're so amazing. And like going on. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, what an incredible (laughs) human he was. And he was just like, (sighs) like his eyes were like so big. He was like, oh my God. 
It was just so cute. I was like, I love it. I love that she like fell into the this like hole. The like, Pentagon. She really, yeah. she really did. I'm just like, girl, like we've been in this hole, but I'm so glad you joined us now. <laughs> but let's get this week started then. Listen, every week I feel like we've just been giving COVID <laughs> updates. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like the CDC for K-pop. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> we really are at this point. Because what the heck? The but K-pop yeah. health organization. Yeah. <laughs> We're cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Cherry Bullets, Heyoon, she got COVID, G Idols, Mion, and Mix. I, I'm assuming that's how you say their name because they haven't even debuted it yet. It's the new group from JYP. <gasps> yeah. yeah. So, Bae. yeah. So the girl's name is Bay. So I'm just like, that's cute. Love that for her. <laughs> but okay. she has COVID. So we don't love that for her. <laughs> <laughs> We don't love the COVID part, no. but the name. The cute. name. Cute. COVID yeah. saw those teaser pics and said, she looks fire. Let me slide on over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Um, Super Junior's uh, Kihyun. Uh, that's not his name. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Nope. Get her, Alexis. Get her. <laughs> Get her, Alexis. <laughs> I feel like when I first when I first started I started standing God seven and I was like you you young young super junior member Q Hyun. The youngest member. The yeah. youngest member of Super Junior got the wrong name. <laughs> um Yeji and Yuna from Itzy also got it. Um so that's what, three out of the five members? No, Cherong did too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dang, so that's four My out girl. of five. My girl. Dang, man. Mr. Yanju from TXT. Oh. I can't believe this. I can't believe Rona caught him. Uh, Woojin for AV6. Fucking all attemptist. If you don't know who Temptus <laughs> is, it's because they, 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 they debuted yet. But <laughs> they haven't debuted either. Look at that. They had to reschedule their whole debut. Their whole debut. Yeah, it's okay. At least they all got it over with. Okay, they all got it over with. It's done. Tay, it finally caught Tay. He's the last member, right? That hasn't gotten it? Hobie hasn't gotten it. Yeah, Hobie hasn't gotten it. Oh, Hobie. Well, of course, he's literal sunshine. <laughs> he ain't gonna get a COVID. Um, Tay got it. San again. Again. It caught him again. I can't believe it. Yo. He's the lily of K pop. No. That shit caught her three times. <laughs> he's the lily. It's true because Lily got it twice. I think. But, she did. Yeah. But he said, like, he's not, he's not, he's like asymptomatic. He's asymptomatic. Yeah. So, yeah. so but he literally, like, he got back. It had to have happened either at the airport in the USA, on that plane. That's it. Those are the only two options. <laughs> or when he landed in Korea. Yeah, but do you, do, like, would you catch it and test positive that same They said day? Omicron, it takes two days. It said, uh, like, you could get catch it in two days, yeah, after exposure. <laughs> damn. Then, yeah, then probably. I mean, with how close those bitches were to him, and I was probably. just about to say, they got mobbed at the airport in Korea, so I was just Yeah, like, oh, well, then, yes. Somebody. That's so sad. Plot twist, it was a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. anyway. Sujin from Weekly, my oh god, my oh, Weekly baby. Baby. And Don from Kingdom. Dang. Jesus, it's like it's like reading off a receipt, you know, where you're like, okay, <laughs> a CBS uh, receipt, or like calling attendance. I feel like a homeroom teacher. <laughs> Cherry bullet, okay. G idol, okay. Okay, <laughs> it's so sad, but really, it's Korea's just like... going through a huge wave yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they're even canceling like North American tours. So <laughs> they said, no, y'all can't come over here right now. Actually, y'all yeah. gotta stay there. Well, you know, we're talking about that. Grooveland had to do that just now. Yep. So they rescheduled for May, I think. But obviously, the word on Twitter too was that they need some more time to uh, sell tickets, and I'm just like, damn, dang, why y'all throwing shade like that? Shit, right? It dang. might be true, but don't say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I don't know, but they've been pushing for those shows, so it could be true, could be not. I actually know a lot of people that are going, but they're going to the LA stop, so I like I don't know about the other stops how they're doing, you know. But yeah, but it's it's because of that, because of COVID. Again. Meanwhile, twice over here, they're like, yeah, we ain't got to deal with that twice. Yeah. twice <laughs> out of way. You're right. Honestly, what was it? Our friend Alex was like, you twice should just stay here. <laughs> like, They're not dealing Bitch. with that. Half wave. of the 80s did for like an extra week. They were like, mm, mm. do we really want to mm. pass? Yeah. <laughs> and there was that shady... Um, there was a news, uh, uh, an article that was just like the USA out of all places saying people to not go to Korea because COVID is bad. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, uh, I say like, y'all want to talk. Y'all got a two million cases a day. What the fuck y'all talking about? Exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody from Korea coming to America, they're like, ah, we're in LA. I've seen so many 
dancers, idols, actors. They're like in America, and I'm like, damn, did y'all just? You were like, you know what? I'm booking the flight. <laughs> they got quarantine. Let's just go. You're right. They, go. they don't gotta do anything. Just just go and have fun. That's it. Nobody cares. Yep. That's sad. I mean, Momo lands in Mexico, so they live in the best yep. lives. Love that. And uh, everybody's out this way. They were just like, let's get out of this wave and go to this other wave. The other wave, though, they we ain't got no type of nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Like in Korea, they got mm-hmm. curfews. They got restrictions. They're like, eh. At least if we come to America, we can like you know party a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so bad. It's so, it's bad. so bad. Sorry, y'all. Like we know that this shit is serious. I mean, Terika and I went through it. Half of not sure yeah, we did. girls went through. It. I blame that I'm living in red states, but you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, because me and Cynthia, we live in our life in our blue state with our COVID <laughs> mandate, so we chilling. But anyways, Cat mentioned Ace earlier, so let's, uh, let's talk about Ace a little bit more because Byungkwan uh, finally announced so that sad. he is going. I'm sorry, where did we see he would that, that young Kate went Dubai? It was like Dubai, something. He went somewhere fancy. He Dubai, went where the rich it people was Dubai. go. It was Dubai. So, yeah. so yeah, so Byungkwan is going to Dubai, everybody. Um, on April 11th, he's going to be in the Katusa. That's not how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he's going to be joining the fancy unit in the Korean military. So that's so nice. I love this for him. For the English people, for the people that speak the English speak language, the you English. know. They're like, we're going to put y'all in an extra, an extra branch. Yep. Okay. So he will be, uh, you know, taking his break on April, in April. <laughs> we're only going to have Chani left. Only oh Chani. God. Oh, he did say the other day he was just like the home doesn't feel like a home because oh, yeah. like, oh that's so sad. That's so sad. Um SF9 uh Young Bin also announced that he's gonna be leaving March 29th. He's going to Hawaii. Dang. He going to regular ass Hawaii. Yeah. That's okay. That's why it's Dang still fun. on Kinsey's birthday. So I know. <laughs> Um, and I know, like, Insong also announced that he's leaving soon, so. But in good news, though, Suho is back, though, from EXO, so. Woo! And tell me how Terika showed me a video of him, like, talking in English, and I was just like, who's that? <laughs> I did not recognize this voice. I was just like, man, like. Because the way he had, like, this deep, like, smooth, like, yeah, like, I don't know, I haven't done this in a long time. I, like, haven't done a live in a I was just like, time. is that Yang Yang? <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, so I was I was just naming names at that point. I was like, I have no idea who that is. But he's back, so yay. When will we get a EXO comeback? Who knows? Who knows? Bitch, we we in for a ride with that I'm one. We got, a, we got a wild. We might get a new unit, maybe a unit. That's true. But... That's true. It's true. Anyways, let's move on to uh some other good news. We got Mr. Hual. I'm sorry, Hyun Jun, because he changed his name. He doesn't go by Hual anymore. I'm just emo because he was my the boy's bias, and then he left. Um. Well, anyways, um, he signed with um. They actually, I didn't even put the agency name. Yes, you just said he, you said it was just part with Park Bogum's agency, like it's his, like he owns it. He is signed to. Let's see what he signed to. I hope they don't put my boy in a cult. <laughs> actually, I think Park Bogum's giving up his cult life. I don't think he was a very good cult recruiter. Yeah, everybody that he talked to, they were like, "Nah, pass." <laughs> it's called Blossom Entertainment. Oh, cute! Oh, cute! I love that name. It fits him. Oh, so he signed to Blossom Entertainment. We love Hyunjoon. I saw that. It was a lot of like actors and actresses so i'm assuming he's yep. gonna continue down that route i yeah. would assume so yes. yeah so oh i'm so happy sugar we baby. love this for sugar baby yes. <laughs> post some more thirst traps king <laughs> <laughs> we miss you his company better let him still the heck <laughs> where he gonna get his money from anyways <laughs> B.I. also signed to What's Our Man um, American Agency. So he's going to be, you know, promoting out in this uh, side of the world, I guess. I can't wait for him to get off, to not be under probation so he can come to America. Exactly. <laughs> um, also, for, uh, former Wonder Girls member Sun Yi signed with Blockberry Creative. And I have things to say because I thought Blockberry, thank you. That, yeah. That part. Everyone was confused. Um, like, so I don't I don't know what's going on there. If y'all ain't broke, y'all poor? where's Luna? Give us a comeback. Did they sign her with an IOU? Like, here, girl. If you sign this contract, we're going to pay you with a hundred free hugs. <laughs> Anytime you want. It's cash it in. 
Like, what do they pair with? Anytime you're feeling bad, just just come in, just push the button. Just come, just come, cash one in, girl. We got you. <laughs> but excited for her to see what she's gonna do. Um, Winner is gonna have their first folk group concert in two years. Now, will it happen because of Rona? Who knows? Because uh, they're gonna have two days uh, of concerts, so April 30th and May 1st. And April 30th is supposed to be in person. So, will that happen? Like a month and so some change to figure it out. And then the May 1st first one will be also streamed online so for that one you know the inner circle international y'all can watch the may first one because they're gonna do an online and offline version of it oh also bts is gonna have like a concert in seoul yeah. i don't know i don't remember what day it was but i think they're also gonna do an online version of it yeah but yeah just concerts slowly coming back obviously the Woo. usa is open wide and open so everybody coming through here literally <laughs> they don't care uh, but let's talk about music because uh, one of our faves, A Pink, came back th- with their 10th year anniversary album title track Dilemma. And I just want to say that I really love this. I really like the album too. Mm-hmm. I really like the song. I can live without the lyrics, but <laughs> besides that, if I just pretend I don't know and I didn't read the lyrics, this is a bop. Like, it's great. You know what? I did not read the lyrics. Maybe now I kind of really want to. It's basically saying like, oh, like I can't live without you. Like, don't leave me. Even if you don't love me, like stay with me type of thing. But then at the end, it changes. The lyrics change. And it's just like, this is my dilemma. Like, I know that I love you, but I know that I I need to let you go. So like it changes, you know, like Mm. there's progression and growth in the lyrics. (laughs) But when I first read that, I was just like, oh, no, girl, (laughs) (laughs) we ain't doing this. But they look stunning. This is catchy like got a little bit darkness to it i don't know what instrument uh they have in the little the do 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 but that yes. shit is cracked i listened to the song <laughs> just that. for that just yes, for great. that part i listened to the song so good reminds me of, of one of their other songs the da, 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 bye 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 so sick i'm so sick uh, yeah it reminded me of it but i i mean but i i also like that one so <laughs> yeah i like this little style that they're doing i love a pink what is it you guys said y'all saw them in concert you're like oh we'll stay for one song we knew the whole set me being a whole unji stand like i love that woman i love, love unji. speaking of love her, her she this blazer dress situation oh, yeah. with the colorful print she posted it on instagram and i said oh yes queen and then when i watched the music video i said ah i hope she kept that I hope she stole it from the 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 stylist because it looks great on her <laughs> also the non in the like blue the baby blue dress yes. that she was wearing. yeah oh, she's so pretty i died i was like that's yes, so funny because yeah. somebody made like a meme because that dress i think we wore it uh with something with mama moo and somebody was just like queens of leaving their companies but staying with the group wear the same dress <laughs> and i was just like okay <laughs> But yeah, but they look stunning. Um, I really like, I think Namju was the one that was wearing that green, like emerald green dress at the beginning. Oh yeah, it was Namju, the emerald green yeah, one. Yeah, so I freaking love that dress. If I can find a dupe of it, I would wear, I don't know where I will wear it because I barely wear dresses, but that shit is beautiful. It was pretty. I was just here for it. Um, also, if y'all listen to the album, please listen to Free and oh, Love. The album is so good. Free and Love is so my good. jam. Just a spoiler alert for Songs of the Week because the way I, <laughs> that song, I just like repeat, repeat, repeat. It's so good. And the rest of the album is also really good. I'm just... I'm so happy. I hope they get like a win with this because one of the girls is saying like, oh, like if we win this, we're going to be like the first girl group that's like 10 years old or however old they are. Like 11. This is their 10th anniversary thing. Of course, they're 10 yeah. years. Oh, my yeah. God. Anyways, yeah. okay. <laughs> they're going to be like the oldest like girl group that's been out like to win an award like at yeah. a music show. Oh, hey. So it's just like, yes, do it. Let's go. Love that. Do it for the hags. <laughs> a pink supremacy. You right Love about them. that. Susie also came back this week with Satellite. I'm confused. And what? I like uh, the girl dancing. She was very talented. <laughs> She is very talented. I love how we all were just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, this is nothing. I was not expecting this. I was just like, oh, Susie came either. back. Like, Idol Susie's back. And 
I was like, I was ready for like a bop, just cute and no, 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 no. You see, we we had the wrong. I also thought, oh my god, Idol Susie, yes, like featuring Back Young Susie, yes. I was like, oh my god, but no, this is actress. I was giving this is actress yeah. Susie <laughs> singing. She's singing. Yeah. Uh, she's not Idol Susie being an actress anymore. She an actress being <laughs> trying to be an out. idol. Oh, Lord, no, man. it's not terrible. It's it just mm. it w- it uh, wasn't my cup of tea at all. Like yeah. I, I it was like I I like the song in the sense of like the instrumental. Everything else, I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, remember that time I was like, hey, there's a song that I didn't listen to all the way through. Yeah, that was this. <laughs> <laughs> just was not our cup of tea. Yeah, I was just confused. It was just like sad dancing with like an abandoned mall. I don't know. I don't know what it, but I also don't know what it's with like the, the K-pop, like, you know, got the beat or whatever. They had it in their track and now Susie, the like demonic, like <laughs> whisper for like yeah thing in the bad i don't i don't i can't i can't get behind that i feel like i'm being possessed <laughs> maybe like, it's i don't a cult. know where you want to say be. maybe bogum was better at a cult leader than we thought he was <laughs> <laughs> he said subliminal messaging is the way to go <laughs> Park was just like okay so listen i can't go up to talk to each idol but if you put this in every song like i'll put it for each producer boom done cult Yep. So, anyways, yeah, um, not what we were expecting, but uh, which I yeah. said, what, what <laughs> tattooed man is she dating? Because she went like, At girl, weird experimental heavy rock. Yeah, and it was it was just very weird. It was, it was <laughs> very, very strange. strange. Yeah, very was. strange. Like I said, instrumental yeah. I really like, but the rest I was just like, I was the confused face like yeah. what is going on here i didn't see the vision i didn't see the vision. <laughs> yeah no the vision. i did not see the vision like wanda i did not see it i didn't, <laughs> I didn't see that or like wavy the vision that i did see though was with Tayon. um she really oh, i envy you yes uh, and i just want to say a little funny tidbit that at first i was just like man in like what are they gonna say and then she's like i heard the song and it's like i envy you and i was like oh Clever. Yeah, girl. Clever. <laughs> I figured that's what it was. I was like, in Vu, like what? In Vu? What's your favorite thing about In Vu? In Vu. <laughs> she looked like an elf from like Lord of the Rings and she was just so yes. celestial. And I was just like, yeah. That's the word. Like that's the word, celestial. She's so like her style. Like she's so stylistic. Like mm-hmm. when you like listen to her, you see her music videos. You're like, damn, I ain't ever seen anything like this right? before. I like, what loved is this? it. I love the little um, shoulder choreography we got. Like the sharpness. Yes. Of the, 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 yes. Uh, I was like, yes, ma'am. I don't know. I love this. I also like when she did the INVU with the hand, like the hand movements, and it was just like yes. Ooh, yes. the letters, she loved a, good, a hand movement choreo. <laughs> like <laughs> she's just. She's something else. Let me tell you, she's she, something. She else. looked like a goddess the whole time. I she mean, did, she, like that first, the first couple scenes, and she's like, she literally is in heaven, being a goddess. Like it, she's just gorgeous. And I really liked when it was like the the brown outfit, mm-hmm. and she she was like a pretty fairy. Yeah. It the whole music video is just beautiful, and like in the different so settings funny. and her outfits, like, like the, yes. Ugh. The teaser pictures we got too, I was like, mm-hmm. girl. Yo, okay. Shout out to whoever was that person that did that graphic design and it looked like the the begin the waiting stage from Grand Theft Auto. Yes. It was so it yes. was so good. I was like, it fits right in. It fits right in. <laughs> Love it. But this is a full album. Everyone listen to it because it is so fucking good. Yes. It is so fucking good. Fucking You Better Not is the song of the century. Cold as hell, amazing. It's just, mm. but I mean, we expect mm. nothing less from her. Queen, the queen. queen she her vocals are always just like out of this world. Like, like who allowed? Truly, who allowed? But I need to go listen to the album because I only heard this song. It's so good. Now we got something that's controversial in the Niaf, uh, not Travis Train Girls headquarters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Epic High came out with their album. It was like the part two from the last one that they did. I really liked it. So I really love Here, Gray So Gray. I really like Rich Kids Anthem, Champagne. And I feel like they do have, I mean, they always have lyrics that are just like, you know, like, in your face and tell it how it is so they did the same with this um i like i really like super rare too and they have like a little like animated like 
music video and that shit was really cool to watch but i really like the album i feel like it was really cool i really and here like they're just kind of like putting into conversation about how they've been here like don't try to put them in a casket type of thing like they were here back then and they're here now and i was just like you tell I mean, them. yeah i get it i understand they're trying to do it for the hags i feel appreciated <laughs> i feel seen but like i don't know i just i mean it's epic high so like they're who they are like you know epic high but like i don't know this album just was not my favorite like it's not my favorite because like you said the sleepy album is my favorite mine too yeah because that i can listen to that like nonstop. but, but also like lyrically I, I don't have a problem with the album lyrically the album's great like the lyrics to the album are mm-hmm. amazing i just feel like the the <sighs> i don't want to say listen i love i love tableau y'all if y'all know anything about me i love I love Tableau. I read his books. I yeah, like follow Tableau. his life. Like, I love Tableau, right? But this just wasn't... It wasn't hitting. It wasn't hit, It wasn't that it wasn't hitting because, like, the songs are okay. Like, I would listen to them again. Like, if they came on shuffle, I wouldn't skip them, right? It was just... I felt like it was repetitive. Yes. That's the word. Okay. Um, It just... As you went through the song... Like, if you listen to Epic High's albums, like the Sleepy album, or really any Epic High album, like... They are in the same genre, but they're not the same. Like, the songs never, like, sound the same. This, to me, is I felt like I was listening to one long song, and I was just not about it. I didn't like it. I was like, okay, I'm <laughs> this is, all right, moving on. I I had to like check to make sure that I was listening to a different song, and I was <laughs> like, oh, okay, well, this is a different song. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that's how I felt. Not that it was bad. Not that it's a bad album. Not that I'm like, oh my god, this is garbage. No, just, no, you know. no, no. Yeah, it's just not like my favorite album to vibe to. You know, what I mean? yeah. like you said, like you, we can listen to like the sleep, like on repeat because on repeat. It's, it's the vibes. Yeah, yeah. This one like, didn't give me the same vibes, but it wasn't like it's a bad album. It just wasn't my favorite. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. like certain songs the most, which I mentioned. But also Rain yeah. Song is in this. So they released this last year, but it's with Cold and um that's that's the best track. No, I love that's, that song. That's yeah. the best best track in the album. Not talking about that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best track in the album. But besides that, you you did get kind of like more of like the same type of genre and stuff and more like the same theme. That's probably in like, conversations the theme. And yeah. Like things like that. So I get what y'all mean. But like at this point, nothing's ever going to top love drunk for me. That song's mm-hmm. just everything. Mm hmm and more in life so now i'm just like what are you guys gonna do now how are y'all gonna make a better song than love drunk tell me tell me one day one day they will figure it out they are also coming on tour so if you guys are seeing them yeah lucky bastard <laughs> moving on along one ho mr one ho released eye on mm. you and i got my mm. eyes on him because again we love a good hand choreo I like yes a little, a little shh. I was like, okay, sir. okay um so Hoshi came up with that, and I'm just so happy. <laughs> oh, word? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. cool. He did the, uh, I don't know how much more of the choreography he did, but he did that, the point um, dance for the song. So okay. I was just like, first of all, love that y'all still hang out because, you know, Monster X 17 supremacy. Mm-hmm. I love their friendship, but also because, you know, Hoshi is Hoshi. I love his chaoticness and look at him. How's he doing? I hope he's better. Didn't he have the Rona too? Yeah. Th- we haven't heard any. Anything else? Any updates? Yeah. No. So just he's probably just sleep, but that's a lie because he's Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. So I don't know. He's, he's just bouncing off the wall. Yeah, like Rona really was probably scared of him. He was like, "Oh, should I? Should I? Should? Yeah, I'm just gonna." I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's Hoshi. I got it. But yeah. But one hoe back with the, you know, he deep house king. Because like, ooh. He was something else. She said he was something else. I like this um, genre. This like niche Yeah, this is a good song. This fits for him. I like that he keeps making music like this. Same, same. I like it. Like the whole concept is just like sexy cool. Because I'm just like, Mm -hmm. okay, you sexy. But also I'm just like, I want to be like you type of thing. He's just so cool. The outfits the oh my god what, all the harnesses i'm just like ooh. you know monster x already did all the harness stuff but once one whole like once you know all that shit happened and and he went solo he said you know that you know that harness shit we're gonna up it up a hundred percent that's a lace I like the part the, yes. in the all black with the dancers in the mask. I really like that. And then like at the end when they make that little like shh, that pose when they're like leaning back and I don't know. I like the choreo. It's yeah, great. I just love how he always does 
like he includes like all these like backup dancers and they do like the cool like formations and shit and i was yeah, just like that's, yeah. that's what that's what i was looking for yeah <laughs> that's like, he looks so good and also like he's so big and muscular so he always <laughs> obviously stands out no matter what it's wild <laughs> he's so like, huge. my dude but he's like the sweetest little muffin he's so cute <laughs> like i watched it like three times for science purposes just to see how huge he is all the time does he get any smaller no he doesn't treasure also came back with what i'm gonna oh, what i'm gonna yeah. butcher chick 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 they did that. Oh, it's so fucking good. This is like their, I'm a bad boy. Look at me. I'm so cool. This is their coming of age. Yeah, it is. This is their it coming is. of age. And I love it. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Uh, me and Cynthia reacted to this. It'll be up soon, everybody. But Lord. They got some nice ass vocalists in that group. Like, they do. every time I listen to yeah. the song. Like, this wasn't like, this is not my fave by them. Because, like, there's nothing like, you're the only one treasure. Da, 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 <laughs> oh my god da, 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 da. <laughs> like, i freaking love that song i really love this song there's another song in the album and i don't i'm so sad i don't know the name of it but our friend kinsey is a huge treasure stand yeah and she like play the album non-stop but there's this one song that i really liked and i never got the name of it is it a slow song is it a fast song <sighs> Let me see if I can find Do it. Do you have a melody? Because it, it's only four tracks. So, like, <laughs> I know. You give me, like... And that's the thing. Like, I'm so sad because I can't remember. But I know she's, like, playing it. And, like, I was in the shower. And I was like, ooh, what is this? Because I could hear it. And, like, I don't know what it is. If I know you, it's probably you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. Crazy. It's called You. No, this song is really good, though. Like, I... It's so good. I love how they always have, like, in their songs, they always do, like, this breakdown, and then it's, like, all of them, like, chanting, singing together type of thing. Yeah. Like, love a good chant. They always do it, and every time, that, that shit gets you so hyped, because it's just like, hey! It like oh it's so good bro the choreo is fire yes like the chorus the melody is so good shout out to bobby because i know he helped hyunzik like write the rap yeah oh yeah i read that and mm-hmm. i just wow just beautiful brilliant like yes treasure oh god i gotta i gotta buy this album so i can finish my collection you're right <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but it's it's great because like uh we were talking to Kenzie about them and she was just like, Oh, like you're probably gonna like what, Jaehyun? And Yeah, that's what she and said. I was just like, I don't know who this man is, but okay, I already know that Jaehyun and NCT comes for me every damn day. So another J- Jaehyun like Jay Hyuk? Is it Jay Hyuk? Because they, I don't think they don't have. A they don't Jay-hyun. have a Jaehyun. This whole time, I thought that it was Jaehyun because they have. That's a, they what... have a Jaehyun. Oh, then maybe I misheard Kenzie. It probably is because I mean I don't know the members' names, so I can't really tell you. Like... Okay, um, I'm back from my research, and Cat is correct. That's the song. I, like. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Do I know my friends or do I know? I'm saying it. it's so good. They're so good, and honestly, like. It is like their coming of age because I told Kenzie that my favorite member was Yochi and she was just like, yeah, this is him. And I was just like, no, that's not. <laughs> he looks too grown. What the heck? The one that looks like an anime character? Yeah. With the red hair? Ooh. Yoshi. Oh. Yeah. Yoshi. Yeah. yeah. My Taurus king. And it's because he looks too grown. I'm like, what? When did this happen? Yeah, girl. They've been gone for like <laughs> a year and some change. Seven right? months. Oh. Yeah. Like seven, eight months. I need to go listen to the EP because, yeah, Kenzie was playing some of their so music. Good. and it, it Japan was Japan really Line looked great. That's Japan what, that's what she great. said. Too. Also, I want to buy their plushies, too, because they're so cute. They're so, yes, they're cute. so cute. Freaking plushies. That, that's how they get you, man. I hate it. I hate that they that's know true. that there's a market for that. <laughs> for plushies. Plushies and hoodies. If you got a plushie and a hoodie, I'm there. Like, yes, I need all these things. Same. And sweatpants. I love Treasure so much because they like a group full of Tauruses. Really, I think there's only like two of them, but still, that's, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, she said. I, it's just full of them. There's like 11 members. Only two of them are Tauruses. Only two. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like Treasure. But like I was telling, like again, I was telling Kenzie, I was like, it's so hard nowadays for me to like dive deep into like a group. There's even groups that I absolutely love, like that I haven't seen half of their shit because I just get distracted. Yeah. Yep, same. I I love Treasure, and I, I don't, and treasure. I know like three things about them. Y'all know I love same. Treasure. One of the things that I know is apparently I have a bias. <laughs> I, do you? Yeah, I guess apparently. Ooh. Keep pointing out the same little kid. I'm like, wow, he's so precious. Wow, he's so adorable. Even picked out his damn plushie. Didn't even know that it was his plushie. Yep. 
So there's that. Which member is he? Do Young, apparently. Oh, oh yeah. He's Had right. no clue. He's adorable. Had no clue. He's a he's a little chipmunk. He's so cute, my guy. And his anyway. favorite color is yellow, apparently. Meant to be. Yes. Stan Treasure, everyone. Yes, Stan Treasure. Even though, again, I, I love them, but I only know three things about them. Same. The Vita also came back with Bonnie and Clyde. And also, congratulations to her before I begin, because she just signed to AMG. Yeah, girl! So, congrats! We congrats. saw this coming. Everybody Stan DeVita. She's so good. Miss Chloe DeVita. Because I'm music at Hey. Music is so good. I love uh, so but yeah, much. Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, this her voice is out of this world, Amazing. and I really Beautiful. love this. The music video is really cute. Um, yes, it takes a twist that I was not expecting, but I loved it. Um, she brought out cat suits for the dance. Like it was, it has everything. It has something. It has everything. For, you, yeah. Yes, something for everybody. For everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it has. I really love the Vita, and I'm happy that she is signed to AOMG because I feel like she fits right in. I love uh, her. She's love amazing. Her yeah, she's like not. Don't give a fuck. She's super hot. She's like yes, just everything that whole ep american gothic yeah. amazing. i haven't listened to it it's yet so good. i've been out of town and so i'm just like i'm saving it and so that's probably gonna be some of my songs of the week next week i'm gonna lie spoiler she's in the trap is my song yes i was about to say she has a song with you know our favorite punching bag jay park <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> called she's in the trap and shit's fire fire she's just i was about to when i was listening to the uh, ep and i was just like you're like the song is so good and i saw the name i got traumatized because of you know saying oh my god but it's my favorite Uh, uh, another spoiler alert for songs of the week because this is my favorite song on the on the ep it's just the way they harmonized in that song was just i'm so excited beautiful i was just like girl yes like and, you, that. and and that's another thing that i also love like whenever like that jay just gets some features with all of his artists like all of the artists i'm sorry he's not the ceo no more yeah they his artists no, no, more. no not more. he just be getting no. on track yep. <laughs> he, he gotta stay employed now he just needs to make the money he gotta stay employed he like, i saw him talking it. about something else on like i don't know if it was twitter it's like, i don't know he was talking about getting into something else or doing something else i'm gonna start didn't you just like retire or whatever yeah <laughs> <laughs> said that he was gonna start another company um for yeah there we go oh man what was it at? i don't even remember isn't he doing a company for boy group yeah like, isn't he make for idols. idols there we go idols. That's, that's right idols. that's what it is there we go i was like he was signing some type of shit i don't know he was saying so he said y'all kicked me out but watch me make the best idol group i'm gonna support it <laughs> we'll see we'll see but yeah again davida a queen we love her we love davida in this household miss chloe davida yes, do. i love you ma'am you are we love wow. her anyway those are our fucking comebacks for the week everybody <laughs> uh, we're gonna end this week like we do every week with our songs of the week um i have a few i've been listening to a lot of girl groups oh my god as of late specifically vivis vivis i don't know i still don't know how to say the name correctly visa vis vivis vivis i don't know but anyway i've been listening to not bop 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 it's a bop bop but i haven't been listening to bop bop i've been listening to lemonade and mirror like Mm. a motherfucker those songs are wow beautiful amazing incredible also been listening to a lot of a pink but not the new album even though i've been listening to it but i've been listening to their older things well not older but dum da 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 love that song just a bop all around just like wow beautiful and l-o-v-e love a lot of twice because you know i'm same. in my feels that i'm not like seeing them right now uh <laughs> are you listening to the feels because same no but i'm listening to dance the night away mainly because like i stumbled upon a jihu fan cam and i was like wow she is something else you're right and so i've just been watching her fan cams so yeah this night away and alcohol free that's about it and a lot of one we but that's that's always that's all the time that's just me living my life Trauma specifically. Great song. <laughs> so for my songs of the week, speaking of twice, it's twice, literally. Twice. And it's not even because they're here on tour, because I totally forgot about that. It's because the feels randomly pops in my head throughout the day. Like it's been doing this Same. for like two months now. And so I was in the car driving from well, I wasn't driving from Tampa, I was in the passenger seat from Tampa. <laughs> and I just started singing it and our friends like, You wanna listen to it? Cause it's been stuck in my head. And I'm like, same. And literally we listened to uh the feels and last waltz on repeat Aww. like five times and then after that we were like let's listen to some girls generation and so my next Ooh. song of the week is lionheart by girls Ooh. generation Love that song. Nice. and genie listen to a lot of genie too so yeah the feels last waltz lionheart genie also treasure because you know there's that i just didn't know the name of the song <laughs> <laughs> yo 
the but it's called you and Betty. It's not that one. <laughs> this is the same thing that happened with her with the boys. You remember? She just loved that one the boy song, and she would yep. sing it all the time. You all the are time, my boy. Yeah. And she like sang that shit for like years, <laughs> and then she finally started standing the boys. This is exactly what's it's happening the, with Treasure. It's the same cycle. Yep. It's the same cycle. <laughs> uh, for my songs of the week, I've been listening to a lot of Seventeen, y'all. Like literally while driving back home from orlando that's i just listened to 17 on uh, like on shuffle so i'm gonna just say heaven's cloud because i feel like that's like my number one like 17 song um let me hear you say and monse because yes we love oh, we, we love a hype song um from a pink i've been listening to their ep their new ep a lot so dilemma and free and love favorite song in the cp so good like cat i've also been listening to vv's um uh, but to bop bop because it's a bop twice i've been in my twice feels i've been listening to the feels and uh love foolish the most and also obviously i can't go a week without listening to my man's that's not my man's jb aka death <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> been, listening, been listening to why from his latest ep as well as i just want to know because like vocals for days that's that's what it is and uh yeah those are my songs so yes whether you are going to reunite with your husband and your child today like cynthia <laughs> or <laughs> you uh stand treasure but you don't really stand treasure <laughs> <Kill me. laughs> Or um, you are having to not move from your place right now because your cat is literally asleep and you don't want to wake him up. Make sure you always, always <laughs> finger along.